Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you remember a regular popular program that was called Avast Free Antivirus, then you possibly might have got your Avast Free Antivirus got upgraded to the latest Avast One Essentials. And possibly, if you don't know how it got here or something like that, or it just got installed by accidental, then we understand too, you want to uninstall it. Regardless, the Avast One Essentials has totally changed kind of like the structure from the old a vast free antivirus so if you're not a big fan of this layout and you want to choose a different antivirus then i totally do understand for it regardless we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall a vast one essentials or pretty much aka the Avast free antivirus in windows 10. let's go ahead and get started so first thing you do pretty much go to start and you can go to settings and by default, you'll pretty much see apps. Go ahead and select it. Let the applications to load up. And eventually, you should see Avast One Essentials. Go ahead and select it. It might be time on a different version. Let's say we had Avast Free Antivirus. Just look for the same keywords. It's pretty much the same structure for it. All what we're going to do is pretty much going to go ahead and select Uninstall. And it's going to bring up this this app and related info will be uninstalled. Go ahead and select it. And you'll probably be prompted. Real quick, I'm not going to press yes yet. This does happen sometimes if we see a vast that's on here underneath settings right now. But sometimes lots of people aren't able to see it. So a second option that might be able to find it, you can pretty much go to start and type in control panel. I just typed in control and this came up. Go ahead and select it. Your layout probably looks like this. If it's the old one, you're pretty much the same way. They don't really matter. They're pretty much the same. And what we're going to look for is the part that says programs or uninstall program. Go ahead and select it. And look for the program called Avast One Essentials. Go ahead and select it. It might be called again Avast Free Antivirus, depending on the current installation version you have. Regardless, you can select it or double tap it, and it'll pretty much bring the point if you want to uninstall this program. You can press yes and continue the process. By default, we're going to go back to the regular settings and press uninstall and press uninstall again, and you'll pretty much be prompted to go ahead and press yes, and it's going to bring up to their screen. Now, this part tells us that we can repair or uninstall. Technically, if this program was just having problems and glitching and crashing and stuff like that, then we do understand you probably just want to repair it. But if you're not a big fan of it and you really just want to get rid of this program as soon as possible, then I totally un understand why. We're going to go ahead and press uninstall because you want to get a free month free. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm really going to want to just uninstall this program. And it's going to tell us an attempt has been made to uninstall Vast. This may be legitimate actions. Just trust me. This is going to be asking because you are wanting to uninstall it. So press yes, uninstall. And here we are again. Sorry to see you go. It tells us if you want to sign up for an interview, you can literally earn $75. I would totally ignore this. And if you want to run a survey, you can do that too. It's up to you. I really don't care. I just want this program to continue uninstalling. So I'm going to go ahead and let it do its work real quick and see what happens once it's been uninstalled. Now, technically, there is a version of a vast one essential that does come on here. And if you've been having problems in trying to uninstall it and it doesn't want to work, then I'll pretty much be showing you how to uninstall a vast mm -hmm. using a removal tool, technically. So sadly, you're going to have to download another Avast program to use it to delete the files from a vast one. But it's better off using that to get rid of it if you did not want this program at all. So here we are, pretty much got uninstalled. It tells us that you need to restart or restart later. I'm going to go ahead and just restart the computer now. And we'll see what happens if anything's there once we restart it. One of the popular programs that we get is kind of like um, McAfee. McAfee likes to stay in background even though you uninstalled it. So we pretty much understand why it's kind of questioning on this. To use a removal tool. But we'll see what happens right now and see if Avast is fully uninstalled. So here we are. We're pretty much signing back into Windows. And we're going to check and see if the program does come up or not. I don't see the icon here at all. And I'm underneath Start and I'm looking up if I see Avast. I do not see Avast here at all, so that's a good thing. And programs are loading. And I see pretty much just the regular Windows security, my virtual box system, and pretty much... OneDrive. I accidentally, as you see this, this is another Spotify. I love Spotify when it comes up. It's not really. Um, pretty much, I'm probably going to show you how to disable that. It's a little pain in the butt sometimes. But regardless, it does show that a vast um, one essentials or vast free antivirus has been uninstalled. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.